Hi friends, so in this video I'm going to show you what the H1 header is, how you can apply one and also how you can customize it. So when you open the text menu and you select H1, you have the option to click to add a header. And this is how the headers look like. So these are bigger texts that are applied on top of the template and you can apply them either to the left page or if you click here on the right side, you can also choose to only apply to the right side or you can apply to both sides like this. And then besides that, when you click here below where it says header, when you click on it, you will see many different kinds of header types you can apply. So you can apply a normal header like I have here, or you can apply a header that has two types of fonts. So let me show you, this header has one font and then a second font. And by the way, to, to change the text, just click on it and then you can type in something new like this. Then you can also um, add a header that is just a line or a box, or you can also add a header with a line like this. And then besides that, what you can do as well is you can also add a second header or a second column. And in this column, you can, for example, apply a different type of header, for example, a box like this. And then below the main header, you can apply a subheader. So for example, here, you can click on it and then maybe apply a text. And then on the other side, you can also apply a text as well, like this, or one that looks like this or a normal or just a line like this. So you can fully customize your headers and you can add up to three columns in total like this. Um, what's new is that you can also adjust the fraction. So you can make the first column bigger or smaller. So this is very similar to the layout panel we have where you can adjust the width of each box. And then besides that, you can also select if you want the header applied to the left, the middle or to the right side. So to quickly explain you, let me add a normal header within each column, call it title two, then this is title one. And here let's call it title three. And let me quickly remove the subheaders below. So we cannot remove the subheaders, but by applying this uh, dashed line, you will apply an empty space in it. Now here on the first column, if I select left, it's aligned to the left side. If I click on middle, it does align itself to the middle and then right, it will apply itself to the right side. And the same for the middle header and the third header here. So you see that you can also change the alignment of the fonts. And then to change the font, uh, you will have a selection between the main font and the sub font. So for this example, this would be the main fonts we have applied here. But if you, for example, have um, a second text, which is a smaller font, this would be called the sub font. So to simplify it, let me call this one main font. And this one would be the sub font. Now, if you go to main font, you can choose a new font. And this will then change the font of the main header, like you see here. And also the fonts are categorized into script fonts or um, regular fonts. And then if you click on sub font, you will be able to customize the second font here. And what we added as well is you can also up here change the sizing of both fonts. So this one's the sub font and then on the main font, if you adjust the sizing here, it will change the size of the main font. Besides this, you can also adjust how far you want the letters to be. So you can also adjust this up here. It just won't show the number because we still need to fix this part. And then you can also choose to have them bold or fine. And also you can also click here on this T icon if, if you want to have all letters in big caps or smaller caps like this. And that is all about the headers. Uh, one last thing is that when you add a header and you only see it apply to the left side or to the right side, always check up here and have it set to both pages if you want to apply the header tab to both the right and the left page. 
And if you have any questions, you can always message me on Instagram or Facebook and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!